Welcome to Today's Issues, a community service program informing you of the issues and events in the four state area. Now, here are the issues for today on KNEO 91.7 FM. Good morning. This is Luke Taylor with a Capitol Report update. State Representative Lane Roberts discusses some bills this week that will cut down on crime across the state. He'll tell you about them now. Good morning. This is Lane Roberts, House District 161. Uh, the House had a fairly busy week last week. Uh, we're, we're hoping some of these bills actually get some action in the Senate, but we're we're doing our job in the House, uh, getting things done. Several bills uh, I think deserve mentioning this week. Uh, first of all, uh, House Bill 1510. Uh, this deals with, with the groups of people who go around trying the handles uh, on cars, looking to break into the car, often looking for the garage door opener, which gives them access to the house. Uh, and it raises that activity to the same level as a burglary, which historically uh, cars have not qualified for that. House Bill 1958, uh, I think, is a long overdue bill. Uh, what that bill requires is that if somebody uh, is responsible for the death of parents as a result of driving under the influence, uh, that, that driver who caused that death will be responsible to pay child support for a surviving child until the child is 18 or a variety of other things may occur. Uh, but they will be responsible for maintaining the support of that child if the parent should die as a result of their conduct. Hospital 1692 uh, is, is extremely important. It's called Valentine's Law. It recognizes the death uh, of a police officer. Uh, officer Valentine left behind a young wife. Uh, he was killed by another individual who was, who was fleeing from police. Uh, it, it sounds like you know people should just not pursue, but the fact of the matter is that's just not practical, uh, and it actually causes more uh, people trying to flee uh, than it prevents. This raises uh, fleeing from the police to a felony offense, uh, and hopefully uh, it has actually some deterrent. At the very least, uh, it uses the potential of putting people. Uh, off the road, who would otherwise be a risk to the public and to police officers. House Bill 2062 uh, is a bill that actually grew out of the COVID uh, pandemic. It prohibits uh, local jurisdictions from uh, having eviction moratoriums. As many people know, uh, that whole series uh, of moratoriums is very hard on landlords. It costs some people their investments. Uh, because they weren't able to collect the rent and the rent was used to pay their uh, their payments on the mortgage. They can still have a moratorium if it's approved by the state, but local jurisdictions would not be able to implement those kind of things on their own. And finally, House Bill 1659 is the crime bill. This is my bill. Uh, it came out of both committee and rules committee. It'll go to fiscal review this week and then hopefully be on the floor this week. That contains a number of uh, provisions uh, related to criminal law. Uh, it is the same bill that the governor wanted to sign last uh, year, but he vetoed it because there was a couple of amendments put on the Senate that uh, he felt were inappropriate. I tend to agree with him. So we're going to go back to that same bill this year. Most of the provisions are exactly the same with a couple of adjustments. 161st District State Representative Lane Roberts can be reached at his Jefferson City office at 573-751. 3791. This has been today's issues. For more information about the issues you've just heard, call 417-451-5636. Today's issues is presented as a public service of KNEO 91.7 FM, a sky high radio network.